Hello, all. Hello, Mr. Fish. Hello, Libby, Rexy, Woodsy, Red Canary, LA Dog Lover. No, yeah. <clears throat> we definitely need to stick together after this thing. We can do a lot of a lot of good in the world. Hello, Mule Creek. My Titan, Karen. Hello, Grizzle, Mocom, Randy, K Staff, Charlie. Hello, Taz and Sasquatch and Carolyn. Dagoo. Hello, North77 Quit. Hello, Coolby, Tom Hotsey. Hello, Whipper Will. Hello, Bob. Mr. Frausto, 72Z Dancing Dog. Hello, Sheryls in Chicago. Hello, Peter Bilt. Hello, David. Champagne Princess. Not yours. Hello, Britt Lynn. And Rexy, how is everybody this morning? Sound off. Hey, what's the weather like where you're at? Hello, Makita and Jason. One undumb. E or and Big Mike. Hello, Evelyn. Hello, Thomas. I see the PA crowd showing up. Hello, Vet Girl as well. Hello, Barb. Texas representing this morning. Hello, a light within. Foggy where you're at. It's going to be a beautiful day in Southern California. Prius, I thought it was a uh, fantastic whiskey and wisdom. It was awfully nice to spend that time with the King Dude, a.k.a. Mike Church. Golden Philly, 63 yesterday, snowing today, golden years. That's nuts. 40 degrees and partly cloudy in northwest Montana. <laughs> Mocom weather. Oh, yeah, got to open the blinds. Stand by for the report. Uh, freezing cold and windy at High Point, New Jersey. Rain last night, sunny now. <laughs> Snow on the ground where Booger... Hey, Booger, where are you at? Hello, Miss Morton. Beautiful morning in North Carolina. Saw that happy hound. Hello, Jubilant. Ron Paul predicting a black swan event to cancel the election. A lot of people are calling for that. He is not alone in that one. Champagne, it was awfully fun. 38 and sunny in South Central Kentucky. Cloudy with rain where the Sasquatch is. But isn't that like the preferred weather of Sasquatch? 24 Central Wisconsin. 68 in Sarasota, Florida. 24 in Indiana. Uh, have you all heard Trump to make an announcement at 11 a.m. on social media? Jay Slack, I have had a lot of what I consider to be pretty decent clips with him claiming that. So we're going to see. Supposedly, he is going to announce two major things this uh, morning at 11. I don't know how true it is. We're going to find out. 59 in Memphis. 24 in central Wisconsin. Nope, too cold. Beautiful in Santa Cruz. Hello, Billy. Hello from Bill and Hillary Airport in Little Rock, Arkansas. Billy, you're going to have to tell us what happened there. Data plants peaked out yesterday. 47 in Nash, Vegas. Balmy 30 in Orland Park, Illinois. That's balmy. <laughs> EJ, maybe his VP whip just said the same thing. Maybe VP running mate, stay grounded. Yeah, absolutely. Stay grounded before we hear. Hello, Miss Amy Owens. Oh, uh, what did I miss here? Betty Harris's son. We missed it. Happy belated to your son. Hello, Miss Jamie in New York. Take back America. Uh, take back said I heard that the Trump announcements, fake artificial intelligence posts. We're getting a lot of that. It is going to get this is going to be a tough, tough election. It's going to require uh, a lot of critical thinking. Danny Jr. I missed that one. I was trying to highlight that one. The birthday for Danny Jr. today. Don't know if I can still catch it. 34 in Michigan. Oh, I did catch it. Drema Watson. Yeah. 
Yeah, supposedly 11 Eastern. We'll see if there's any truth to it or not. Becca Sue K. Hello, Miss Brenda. Brenda telling us Julie Green was fantastic this morning. Uh, somebody else's Chris's birthday. Happy birthday, Chris. Few of those. All right. Probably dive in. Monique, no, I think they want to prosecute or chase or ruin Donald Trump because they know that their bill is coming due for their scandalous behavior. I think that's why they realize what it means if he wins because of the way they persecuted him, the way they persecuted the right anyone around him. I think they are, and they didn't rule him. They, they totally expected to ruin him and for him to tuck tail and not run. Just like the King dude said last night, if it was about him, this persecution of Donald Trump would stop the moment he said, look, I'm leaving. Let's cut a deal. I don't need this. I just want to do business and live, be a happy little billionaire. Uh, and the persecution of Trump and the people around him would stop. So he's doing it because he believes. Certainly wants to make a difference. I thought that made a lot of sense because he, he's right. All of these charges, all the crap being thrown is to make certain he does not come back into power. If he wasn't pursuing power, they couldn't care less. Let's see. Jay Semple, happy birthday to my son, Jake. 24th. Yeah, let's go ahead and just skip to the end of the movie. I'm with you. Who's got the fast forward button on this thing? Uh, well, Trump's running for president. Doesn't he have to put all of his no? Uh, and there's no law. Just everybody has put him in trust or had somebody else run him while they've been in office. The, the law is not really there. Uh, as I understand it, it's more of how it's always been done. But for most, most people running for president don't own businesses. They've been in politics their whole life. They have stocks and bonds, maybe a rental house or two, but no like brick and mortar businesses. So he was unusual. And if you look back at the founding fathers, they didn't do it either uh, because they had working farms, working industry. So they didn't put things into trust for somebody else to run either. That's from a historic perspective, that's relatively new. And Trump was unique. He actually had brick and mortar businesses that required being run. And Carolyn, and yep, some of them had slaves too. <laughs> this is the wonder year or the wonder years. Wonder what's next. Camp Sasquatch may have to borrow that one. <laughs> Love that. Love that little uh, meme or whatever you want to call it. Your uh, picture there, I'm retired. Have fun at work tomorrow. <laughs> Love that one. All right. It is close enough to the time. Not a huge amount of news, but we're going to hit it because there are some very important pieces today. Very quiet on the bond front or the dinar front. But we do have some interesting news. Oh, let me touch on these two real quickly first. Uh, we have somebody in our own community not asking for help. Um, going to be homeschooling children. Started an online business, decisionsinchrist.com. You can explore their collections. They have some really neat stuff. Not looking for a handout as they get through these things. Just uh, business. Well, I had it working. Let's uh, Let's try this one again. It glitched when I hit the button. Yeah, it's glitching now. That's the site. I'll try to show it this evening, guys. All right, let me keep running. Uh, PPN event. People have asked for a link. Uh, the one I'm going to be at in April, April 13th. It is from 12 in the afternoon till 8 in the evening at Buffalo River Resort in Lobelville, Tennessee. Uh, you can find out the details. It will be in today's links. Now let's get to the news where we uh, started originally. Zimbabwe lets currency free fall. 
while it weighs gold standard. You know, that makes a tremendous amount of sense. Don't try to prop it up. That's right. Let the fiat system take the shot on the chin. Go ahead and put into place your new gold standard. Follow that gold standard. Nation plans to launch a uh, launch of structured currency with gold standard. Central bank avoids intervention despite sinking currency. In other words, they're not even going to try to save fiat. They're just going to let it go the way of the fiat central banks. Uh, return to their level of zero. Go ahead and put in an asset back that does not reflect upon your Zim bonds. Unless you're holding some of the recent Zim currency, which I don't know any of you guys that are, uh, this is a good thing for you. All right, keep running. Gold Telegraph posting Russia's introduced digital assets into a legislation as a means of payment for international settlements. Follow the facts. Points are slowly starting to connect. In other words, they've put together a system independent of the U.S. banking system, independent of SWIFT. Doesn't need it. Also one that would very easily work with a new QFS system as uh, they could digitally talk to each other. Follow it, guys. It's getting awfully fun to follow. Uh, oh, I did find this one interesting. Uh, probably should have put it somewhere else in it, but having discussed Russia there, I thought it was a, a good time to touch on it before we go into some of the macro problems in the world. Flight from the dollar and the euros will accelerate if this happens. What he is referring to, uh, with the U.S. refusing to move more or, or the gridlock in Congress over a decision or passing more spending or more uh, funds for Ukraine, over the uh, border standoff, the European Central Bank, European Union, is looking to take the $300 billion in frozen assets of Russia and possibly go ahead and give them to the Ukraine. Bare minimum, they're going to take the $3 billion a year in profit from that money just sitting there and send it to uh, the Ukraine. So a quick $3 billion for arms appears to be uh, any day now headed to Headed to Ukraine from those funds. Now, but think about it, though. Anytime the rest of the world wants to pick on a nation, they can just freeze their funds in the internet, the existing international banking system. Maybe even take $300 billion. To me, that's an act of war, or would be to me if I were on the other end of it, regardless of the country that I'm from. Uh, guys, this is ramping it up, but it's also going to force other countries to say, you know, wait a minute. I don't have to use their banking system. They might just decide. So if you're a Venezuela, if you're in Iran, if you're heck, in India or China, why would you keep your money in any of those banks when they could just decide that, you know, I don't like the way you look this morning. We need a new uh, boogeyman. So we're going to freeze your dollars. You might just keep it. Not even like freeze it for a while, but we're at least going to keep the profits from it. That's going to cause a flight of money from the system, and the system is already very weakened. It cannot take that kind of abuse. Fast forward, Evergrande Bonzi scheme likely sparks likely sparks major property market restructure. Chinese economy in Hong Kong faced a limb over developers' U.S. seventy-eight billion dollar fraud. Yeah, it's causing a run for money and a restructure. And I did find some of the figures. This is a great deep dive on just exactly what's going on. It is a long, long uh, read because of the volume, the structures, the names. It is a uh, but great, great detail. Uh, but what it breaks down is that okay, the real estate may only be twenty five percent of the market, but the real estate portion of their economy is more like 40 or 50 percent of their economy from the banks that service the people that work there the restaurants that supply the food to the people working there the grocery stores uh the concrete producer the people making the rebar the labor the hammer makers the working clothes it's more like 40 or 50 percent of the chinese economy overall it's an enormous chunk and it is on the ropes can you imagine in the U.S. if we suddenly shut down half of our economy and then expected the rest of the economy, which is already troubled, we already have inflation, to support everybody else. It is simply something that is untenable. It's not possible. It's an impossibility. 
which means rough times ahead. And I would like to remind you, oh, don't worry about it. It's just China. The exposure of the Europe European banks to the Chinese property sector and real estate is huge. It is enough to crash Europe's banking system. U.S.'s investment in Europe's banking system would be pulled and pulled under if the European banking system goes. So you can see how this is all one big domino prepping. And there we go. Daggone it. Germany's commercial real estate plunge could be a threat for banks. They're seeing the same thing that we're seeing in the U.S. causing problem in many regional banks, especially in office space. They only have about a 40% occupancy rating in their commercial office space in Germany right now. Of course, uh, they only had about 60, 61% before COVID. They lost another 20%. U.S. has taken a similar dive, but we started with more uh, in-use office space than they did. So we haven't been hurt as badly, but we've still been brutalized. It's already started to bring down some regional banks. Uh, already brought down one, got rolled into another. But keep following it, guys. Banking system is teetering. Oh, dang on it. Here's another one. Boy, I'm tired of this bad news. Credit Suisse fund lost 22% for investors amid global real estate shock. First time ever. Lost 22% this past year because of the real estate shock, because of what we were just talking about. Office space and commercial taking a beating. 22 Can you take a 22%? Let's just go ahead and cut your income 22%. We're not cutting your bills, but we're cutting your income. How long can you maintain? Unless you have just been a very, very uh, responsible conservative person and kept your bills well under your income. Most people can't take that shot, especially in business. If a business has 22% of its money sitting there or 22% of its assets sitting there in just cash and not working for them, that's a crime in business. Your money and your assets should be working to make more money and more assets. Hmm. Yeah, Jubilant Goblin, I couldn't make sense of that comment. I'm going to keep running here. Ooh, I can probably turn off the financial stuff. Yep, I can turn off the financial stuff now. Or the news banner for that one. Jim, CB, it's good to see you. Tim Fu, can you print money to make it up? Well, sure, in the short term. But then what happens, right? Then you get runaway inflation. It's one thing we learned, and I wonder what the market's doing. Uh, most of the futures were calling for it to be an up day. So I wouldn't be surprised to see it. Oh, it's already up 300 points. Uh, now that the Fed has made it a little more clear that they're not pivoting yet. Problem is the producer price index is up uh, almost twice what they were expecting, which means in the next two to three months, inflation goes up to match. I am reading a few of these. See, Miss Jeannie, a non-confidence vote to occur in Canada. Libs are crossing to the other side. Seems Trudeau is almost done. Oh, my. Miss Jeannie, please keep me apprised of what is going on. Archbishop Patrick, I think it's a pretty solid chance. Uh, Larry, I think, Larry, I think you are right. I think uh, the market is going to test that 40000 and then we'll see. Nobody wants the party to end. You've seen it before. You've seen it before in history. Nobody wants the party to end, so they keep running it up. Uh, similar to that same party, it's three, well, 2 a.m. in the morning. Everybody's having fun. They don't want it to end. By 3 a.m., it's starting to implode, and then the cops show up because it all came apart. Reading a few of these, and we got to get to it. Uh, Missouri and Dave, there simply just has not been any fresh news on CMKX or CMKM. Same thing, right? For those in the know, been quiet on the bond. We were expecting some more interesting bond meetings yesterday that we've just got no reports on. It has been pretty quiet from the banking side. They are doing an exceptionally good job of keeping things quiet. Sailplane, Frank 26 changes stance on the NAR. Now he says it's not going to float, but will come out at a fixed rate. 
332 to five, maybe five something uh, sail plane. That's what I've been hearing for some time that we should expect it from. Actually, I was told 333 to about 481, somewhere in that range is what I was told. Uh, so that certainly makes sense to me, makes sense because that's what I've been hearing. Uh, no, I did not in any way. That's why I told you that does not mean your Zim is worthless. It is a totally different monkey being used for humanitarian is what I was told and how it was explained to me. It has nothing to do with the Zimbabwe currency. Yeah, Richard, that's a good question. I have to do a little deep dive on those. I can't imagine Trump doesn't have things very well uh, covered in trusts and legal structures. Uh, TJ, here's a thought. Do Americans actually want illegal immigrants who may be pushing fentanyl working at Tyson's Food where they could contaminate our food? I mean, that is one thing to consider. Um, and we're having a reemergence of disease just because of the uncontrolled border. Uh, yeah, how do you talk about those things without? I know they're sensitive. They got to be talked about. The uncontrolled nature of the immigration we have now is the problem. Immigration as a whole is not. If it is controlled and at a reasonable level, it is good for the country. At the level and the way it's being handled now, it's very bad for the country and very dangerous for the country. We talked about it some on Whiskey and Wisdom last night with the King Dude, a.k.a. Mike Church. It was, uh, it was a fantastic Whiskey and Wisdom, if you guys haven't watched it. Uh, Jay Freezy, of course, they have to be talked about. They do. <clears throat> Is my birthday the day I was born or the day I was divorced? <laughs> I guess one's your... I, actually, I don't want to use your born again day because your born again day should be the day you found Christ. How many of you guys remember that? Exa I remember the day. I couldn't tell you the date. I mean, I remember the, remember the day, remember all of those things when I finally surrendered. Uh, but I'm kind of curious, how many people remember the actual day and date? Let's see, you know it has to come out at the rate they removed it, which was, yeah, it was right around that 324, 330, somewhere in there. It was fluctuating a little bit back and forth. Booger, I tend to agree with you. <laughs> As you know, I've actually got it pulled up to watch right after this. <laughs> Uh, hopefully the link's still good. I haven't checked. <laughs> oh, God, no, K. Kress. I really do believe we have, uh, well, I've talked to some uh, healthcare professionals. We really do have uh, a bit of a reemergence of some of those diseases. Do I think it's something that we need to worry about? No, not really. We have a medical system that can handle it. Ah, I do. Easter Sunday, 1970. Was a Sunday and I was 10. Ah, here's one that remembers July 14th, 1985. Happy birthday to your friend Pam. September 1st, 19. I love this. This is great, guys. 324 is the Kuwait RV anniversary. I think it'd be a, an amazing time to do it. Don't you? What would that put it on? That would put it on Sunday. Ooh, Sunday would be a good day to do it. Uh, Mr. Mayhew always told us we'd go to sleep on a Saturday, wake up to a whole new world on a Sunday, I believe it was. May 1980, I was baptized while in boot camp in Orlando. Uh, hi, Leo. It's my understanding that the General 64 group is going to be handled through Wells Fargo, but I couldn't give you any more details than that. And I'm certain uh, I'll probably get a, if I, if I miss that up in any way, that group will reach out to me and straighten out any information they would prefer just not to be talked about. Uh, Tim Fu, I very much agree with you. I believe most Americans, most people around the world are going to be making JB stew. Uh, Tim Fu said, I watched a cowboy YouTube 
cook late la- uh, late night cooking and discussing Hoover stew. Uh, it had to be filling, but real cheap with no meat. Lots of bad things happened in 1929. Will we? Yeah, will we be making JB stews? I think you and you and I. I think we'll be okay once we get through the unsettled portion of it. Do I think much of the world's going to be making Joe Biden stew or globalist stew or whatever? Yeah. I think much of the world's going to have to learn again how to make very affordable filling food. Not something you want to tell people. Razgold, does the Chinese bond come under the bond people? Yes, comes under the bond people. But if you haven't already submitted it, it's my understanding you're simply supposed to let them know uh, when you make your appointment because it could change where you go so that they can process them. Chinese dragon bonds, yellow dragon bonds, historic. You've got Mexican gold bonds. There's a lot of historical bonds there. Most of them uh, are, are going to be referencing Chinese bonds and German bonds, though. Or at least that's what I was told. Potatoes, carrots, cabbage. Oh, barbecue honcho, June 2017, the day my uh, G son, a godson or grandson, got mauled by two Rottweilers, had over 500 stitches and staples, and a six year old little head. Holy smokes. Oh my God. That's That would be traumatizing. Found God, March 31st, 1961. Father passed, and I knew before family came home to tell me. Never been alone since. Oh, by the way, it was Good Friday. Oh, Dwayne, that's uh, tough news, but I enjoyed hearing your testimony. Mark, you do not have to have a project to redeem Zim, is what I was told, but you do have to have Zim to get the humanitarian extra portion for your project. That makes sense. Hope it does. Miss Kukla, they missed you last night. Good to see you in the house this morning. A friend working an insurance claim says majority of what she is seeing is fentanyl desk corners, marking them as accidental desk beneficiaries trying to get double indemnity rider benefits. That makes sense. I mean, how would you like to? You're the corner if you are any of those. Uh, let's see, 620, wait. So, Jamie, are you saying in June it's your birthday? Or are you saying your birthday is the 27th of this month in six days? Uh, Gary, same for me. I, uh, well, not Indiana, but I grew up in the country, so living off land and all that, way a lot, yeah, easy, the way I see it. I'm already a hoarder, I already have seeds. World could come to an end, and if it weren't for this stinking muscle disease, I would have no problems at all. Take care, Louisiana lady. I know I got to get busy. Ah, big bopper. Thank you for putting this in there. Talk to my buddy in Vietnam last night. He says it's a very good thing the president of Vietnam resigned. I told him he was probably removed. Have to be careful what we say on Messenger. Yes, you do. I thought it was a very good sign that we saw that yesterday, the Vietnamese president stepping down over corruption or being removed, whatever you want to look at that one. That was a very positive sign for us as they were cleaning things up. Robert, Impact Church is now, who is Impact Church? It's now gone to four services and Easter will be at the Cubs Spring Training Stadium on Sunday. Oh, wow, that is going to be powerful. Uh, Aussie mom, there just hasn't been any Boulevard news. And I don't want to do like many of the talking heads seem to do and just make up some just for fun. Yeah, political corruption. Who would have thought? Uh, You know, I don't even know the dates on the aggro checks, and I don't have any here. I've got them locked in my safe back home. Anybody want to sound off on those years? Are they not just also the 2007, 2008? I think. Two K9, I want to say heartfelt thanks for prayers about my first surgery tomorrow. Many, many extra prayers there for you. It's going to go great. 
Zena, I've been a child of the creator since I died. Six, six, sixty six. Oh, wow. That's that's messed up right at eight years old and came back. Oh, that might be a neat story to hear. Uh, Anthony, the last thing I heard on the Rapia was the expected was $1.47. The last thing I've heard, and I've quite literally heard pretty much nothing since. Bowler, I was born again on Memorial Day Sunday. Almighty instantaneously delivered me from alcohol, beverages, and hard liquor. Absolutely had a demon, and I felt it, and the desire for that stuff left my body. What a first encounter I had. I will never, never forget that day. Bowler, thank you for sharing that. Uh, Indonesian rupiah. I may have messed that up, right? I've not heard anything on the Indian ru- rupai, rupee, but on the uh, Indonesian rupiah, but that would be spelled IA at the end. That's the one I was referencing. Uh, Agras are 2008, 2009, and I think the Zimbons are 2007, 2008, if I've got it right. I think that sounds right, guys. 14 at church camp. Don't remember the day, but it was spring and 57 for dog nails. Fit Nance, don't you love it? Awesome testimonies. Black Hills Nana remembers May 11th, 1996. Sorry, I'm missing a bunch of these, but man, I'm, I'm loving them. Loving them. John, John, very similar story. Thankfully, the Lord took away the taste for alcohol four years ago for me. Uh, as you know, let's see, June 26, 2001, I had a friend who was murdered, and I was going to do something really stupid. I had a mentor make me go to church with him, and I accepted Christ that day, saved my life. That's a great testimony. First time I died, I was five years old and was dead for 30 minutes. Before the doctors brought me back, yes, I got to see our living heavenly father. Uh, Mitzi Yoga, I very much believe it'll go before then. Very much believe it will. What's that like? Uh, you guys remember the song, you know, when I see him, will I fall down to my knees? Will I dance? Uh, Mercy Me, I believe, was the band. And I'm certain if Kukla is, uh, is still hanging out, she's going to know uh, exactly the name of that song. But when you told me that story, that song just started sounding off in my head. Jody, I was told you don't worry about the expiration date on the agros, that they're being, that human, excess humanitarian funds are being used for them. That's how it was explained to me. And I hope so, because otherwise I can't make it make any sense. I would not spend a fortune, though, on anything Zim. To me, it's a risk versus reward. If the if the risk is very low and minimal and the potential reward is great, then boom, I'm in. Not financial advice for anybody else. I'm just telling you how I see it. Um, not yours, yes. Uh, I do remember passing it, but uh, we would do our family reunions in, I want to say it's Black Lick, outside of Homer. I can only imagine. Mercy me. Thank you, guys. Uh, Leonard Missner just said, I want to thank everyone for their prayers. The last time I was in here, my wife is still breathing. There's another praise God. Y'all, so many of you guys, I can only imagine. You are all sounding off. Uh, You're going to go see him April 4th in Kent, Washington. Thank you, guys. So many people sounding off. Passion of Christ. I, I can't imagine it does. But maybe. Uh, well, I, I died and I was met by three huge lines with indigo bluish eyes. The lead line entered into me through my forehead and breathed me back to life. It took a while, but it stuck. So, man, these stories. <laughs> Many family reunions go to French Lick in Indiana. Susan, we don't know the exact date on it. Do I think we'll exchange before then? I do. Passion in Christ that I've heard it. I'm going to have to see if I can find anything on that. That's interesting. Amen.
Uh, Sharon, I love that one. I did the math a few weeks ago. I stopped buying lottery tickets after I bought my first sim. Since then, I've added various currencies. I'm still ahead in cost versus lottery tickets. Sharon, you know, that's a great way to look at it. It really is, if you think about it. That's, at least that's the way I work at it. If I buy the currencies, it's like getting a lottery ticket that I can get a 80% refund on. If it doesn't pay off, I can just sell the currency and get the vast majority of my dollars back. I kind of look at it that way. I know it may seem crazy to some, but risk versus reward. I do the same thing when the lottery gets to 300, 400 million. I might go spend $2 on a ticket because I'm like, you know, I just spent $2. It means I couldn't go waste it. Instead of buying a soda or something, I just buy the lottery ticket and might win 300 million. I know chances are slim to none on that one, on the lottery itself. But chance of me having the muscle disease I have is one in hundreds of millions. So. I'm already defying the odds. New York Shepard, U.S. savings bonds. Trump passed an executive order in his last days of his uh, in 2020, like right, I mean, like literally in January, one of his last days, he passed an executive order or wrote an executive order to make certain that all U.S. savings bonds would be honored. You can find that one in the record. Take care, Kukla. It was good to see you pop in. Uh, Roy, you know, I've never heard anything about any denomination not being good on the Indonesian rupiah. <laughs> Carolyn, no, it is horrendous odds on the lottery lottery, but eh. Not yours. My grandparents had a mobile home park, and we would spend our summers best two weeks in. Oh, man. We used to spend our summers as kids in Louisville, outside of Blairsville, which is close to Homer City and close to Indiana, is where we spent our summers as kids on the family farm. Up until sixth grade, then my grandparents moved to North Carolina. I was blessed. Uh, somebody just said the invasion of Iraq began March 20th, 2003. It'd be a good time to do something. Uh, MAGA girl, absolutely nothing about the Lebanon currency. I've had a couple people ask lately with the unrest, everything going on in Lebanon, the ratings of banks. I, I would be afraid of that one completely. Uh, Mr. Cottrell texted this morning, guys. We've gone a little back and forth this morning. Nothing going on in his world right now. I know I should be getting back to a few news articles, but I just seem to be stuck here. And then I'll have some tough questions to ask you. Uh, I... Mary wants to know on the dollar silver certificates. I've heard that they will be honored based on what they're based on, meaning a dollar coin was based on the Morgan silver dollar, which is like roughly three quarters of an ounce of actual silver in one. Uh, so I've heard that they will be honored that way. We don't know for certain. They're certainly worth more than a dollar just as a collector's. Uh, so, I mean, they're already worth a little more, but when I look at that value, what would that be? Three quarters of 25 bucks or whatever. Uh, so if you had a one, it would be that if what I was told is correct. Reading. I know I need to be bunching. I've heard nothing on the Boulevard five Spartans. I know you guys desperately want me to know. But I uh, just have not heard anything logical on the boulevard. Reed gave up my life to the military in 91, been working for God since. The best is yet to come. Amen. Silver spot getting smoked, 2485, down 2.95. Yeah, as the market runs, uh, they're doing their best to manipulate metals right now. 
Uh, Penny passing the good news. Snake announced the other night that Oki's still helping him and passing info. Uh, yeah, uh, Salty had sent me one too that he's working as much as he can based on his health. And I'm glad you posted that. It reminded me. Uh, but that he is, uh, you know, still hanging on. Still appreciates help when it comes for uh, medicine and treatments to stay with us. Although, if you ask him, he says he just wants your prayers. Yeah, Stevie G, I, I kind of look at it that way and work and whip, put it smacked at silver and gold down after that rally. Yeah, it, push it, it pushes a new head, a new ceiling. They knee jerk, they fight back. I do think this is probably one of, I could be wrong, but I think it's one of the last great buying opportunities before it goes uh, ballistic. Carolyn, yeah, that's what I was thinking when somebody mentioned Memphis. I was like, mm, Memphis ribs, it is good stuff. Pat Ring, you are welcome. You know, I could always reach out to Oki directly. Got his number. I just don't want to. I know he's fighting health and covered up. I just don't want to infringe on his time. Oh, yes, Roy Hobbs. We talked about that some on our Whiskey and Wisdom last night with the King dude. There is, or I don't remember. I may have talked. It may have been when I talked to him earlier in the day yesterday. A TikTok influencer, 300,000 followers. This guy is from Venezuela, uh, appears to be part of gangs. They are advising illegal immigrants on how to invade American homes and invoke squatters' rights, making it difficult for them to be removed from properties. Um, giving away some really bad information and saying, in all of America, you go into any empty home, you squat for 30 days, it is your house, you now own it. So they're creating gangs, and these gangs put together people just so that they can amass homes uh, and property values. They go in, they invade them, they make them theirs, and then they uh, turn around, they can uh, sell the property. Uh, yeah, no, it was a scary thing calling for an invasion at the border to go into all the empty homes or to kick people out, squat on their home, then the home becomes theirs. I'm afraid they're going to make things much worse before things get better. And I don't think they're going to like doing that in most homes. I don't think people around the world realize just how armed Americans are. Carol, I'm a grandma, six years old, and trying to work and take care of my two grandbabies. No, it is tough, Carol. Keep plugging. Reading, I know. I've got to get to it. Uh, Greg, gave my life a 10, but didn't truly start to surrender until I started my sobriety 18 years ago. Yeah, I, I think that surrender part is a very, very, very important part. Something that I definitely had difficulty with. Oh, wait, let's see if I can get back to that one from Art. How is it squatters have rights, but homeowners that fight foreclosures from corrupt banks are removed? Isn't possessing nine tenths? You know, Art, you just brought up an excellent point. Because squatters have more rights than the owners in New York and in some place, in some sanctuary states. Would you not just to get ownership of your home from the bank in some of these states? And I'm just throwing, I mean, I'm just like totally throwing out hypotheticals and flaws in their laws. Ooh, that kind of rhymes, right? Fun. Let's just say, why would you pay a mortgage in those states when you can just squat and they give you the home? Would that not win it from the bank? Well, you can't remove me. I'm squatting. I'm now the legal squatter. No, you didn't pay your mortgage. Well, neither did the illegal down the street that squatted. And you couldn't kick them out. Hmm. That is an interesting thought, isn't it? I'm not suggesting you guys do that. No, I want everybody to be uh, responsible and, and, and live and take care of their responsibilities. But you have to ask yourself,
I'm sorry, guys. I'm uh, not talking. I'm too busy reading. Brenda, I am told there's nobody to get together with on registering your bonds now that you will have to wait until redemption. Till the redemption centers uh, crank up or the redeeming banks, whatever you guys want to call them. I know it gets some people lose their effing minds and go complete chicken little when you say re uh, redemption center instead of saying redeeming bank. Don't know why, but they do. Yeah, David, play by their rules. See how much they like it. Huh. Could you do that in politicians' homes from those sanctuary states that pass those laws when they go off to D.C. for months at a time? Could you just go squat in their house and take it? I wonder if they would find those laws abhorrible if it were happening to them. Yeah, Dane, no stone soup for you. Denar, dude. Uh, more of these legal tricks. The trick was squatters to give them rights to the property for a specific period of time. Removes their right to a claim. Say, all right, you have it for one year and one day. You have it for three days. Uh, Gary, I've read that as well. I read that when they interviewed some Japanese generals and asked why they didn't invade America, like mainland America, their answer was, there's a gun behind every blade of grass and know how to use it. Cheesehead. Do I have to RV before entering BRICS? Cheesehead, most likely, yes. I do think that Iraq will RV before they can join BRICS. Or they have to. I don't know if have to is the right word. Leonard, and if I recall correctly, please, oh, absolutely, guys, any of these things, do your own research. I don't want to give bad advice. Leave. None of this is advice, entertainment, educational only. Um, but if you have a family member buried in your property, they can't foreclose your property either. So we just go bury the family dog. I mean, it's a family member. I mean, heck, in today's world, pets have more rights than babies. All right. Let's get a little more controversial. Trump suggests bringing the country together on a 15-week abortion ban. What does that mean? He said there are so many things. Can we just find a common middle ground for now, at least through the election season, and just saying, okay, as long as you do your abortion early, uh, then it's okay, and leave it away, leave it alone from there, just because it is such a political football right now and costing so many votes. Uh, with about 80% of Republicans believing there should be a short period of time before, only about 20% being diehard, no period, uh, the moment of inception, no such thing as abortion. Trump proposing a compromise saying, hey, look, how about just no late-term abortions uh, unless it is rape, incest, or uh, for the safety of the mother. Otherwise, just make it at three month mark or wherever. Done. Can't do one. I want your thoughts. Ooh. <clears throat> She's had just because Roe versus Wade was overturned doesn't stop. No, nope. Goes to the different states. I was just curious what you guys, whether you think. Ellie says soul attaches at 14 weeks or so, unless Cabal attaches one at conception in a lab. I'm more just, uh, I'm savvy. Yeah, for me, it is just uh, because they didn't want to use proper birth control. They didn't have control, so. Uh, John John says, couldn't do that. 15 weeks is still a heartbeat. Is there a acceptable period for some of you guys? In other words, those that are, yep, nope, 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 not going to happen, or some of those like, okay, fine, if they do it in the first eight weeks, uh, six weeks, what's is, is there a period at which you think it's okay or not? I'm not passing judgment one way or the other, folks. I'm just curious because it is such a political football, you know, where where the community stands on it. Whip says once there's a heartbeat. 
Uh, and, and this is exactly why I'm putting it out here, because you cannot force people to have morals and things are still going to happen. So can you find a in-between acceptable level? Lee, my gut right now, and it is just my gut. My gut is screaming April 1st. No abortion, period, murder. Let's see. You can't leg No, you can't legislate. <laughs> Just ask God, see what he thinks. I'm glad I asked this one. Supreme Court, I think six weeks is a fetal heartbeat. Yeah, a lot of you guys are just absolutely no, no, no. Jim's take is six weeks or 60 years. Either way, it's murder. Snow Sue heartbeat starts around five to six weeks. Oh, wow. This is interesting, Beach Brat. Uh, and, you know, because of your experience, I think you have. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? You had to me, your argument carries more weight because you've been through this. It was definitely a baby said I lost a baby five weeks. So it was definitely a baby. No acceptable period. And now what do you guys think of the Catholic Church and their ever-evolving stance on what is acceptable or not and in the way of abortion? Because today's Pope doesn't seem to be very, very grounded in anything Catholic in my book. Unless it's diddling priests, but that's my take. And I probably just offended a lot of Catholics with that comment, but I am particularly uh, unimpressed and find this Pope may well be the downfall of the Catholic Church. And that doesn't mean I have a problem with Catholics. Does not mean that at all. I've got many close friends, family, etc. that are Catholic. And very good people. Lisa, so this test from Trump, he's polling you all. You know, maybe that's part of why I'm asking the question. Not because I was asked to, but I'm curious. Is there a political anything in there? Uh, Dr. Vicky, I'm Catholic and very sad about what is happening. Uh, Debbie, that is a, to me, now I have to, yeah, this is where I, I and I will get in trouble with some of you guys. I, I do, uh, I, I do think there needs to be some extreme exceptions. Uh, and I know that's tough. And morally, what is it? And, and I think that would have to be up to the mother. Um, but uh, Debbie just said, what is a 13-year-old pregnant through rape? Now, I, I do. I think those are things that we should discuss and talk about without screaming at each other. Uh, just like Tim says, abortion is a tough one. It is an extremely tough one. And it's one that people scream at each other, but they rarely discuss Mr. Jones, I agree with you, Mark Z. I'm Catholic, and I believe they've been infiltrated by evil. I mean, if you're looking for the most efficient way to break religion, you would infiltrate the religion. You wouldn't rail against it. You wouldn't come out with your statues of Baal and Satan and all those things. No, 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 no. You would go on the inside. You would make things, oh, it's okay if you do these. We're all human. It's all that. And um, it's acceptable. Uh, sin or acceptable this, you would try to just slowly, you would make it, no, it's really not about God. It's more about spirituality. It's more about how we feel. Uh, it's not, I am the way, the light, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but through me. No, 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 that's not it. No, 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 no. We just have to have really good intentions towards everybody. It doesn't matter if you've accepted Christ. None of that really matters. So, I mean, if I were going to bring down religion, that's exactly how I would do it. It would be kumbaya, my granola tree. It wouldn't be kumbaya, my Lord, or my God. It would be, oh, we just have really good intentions, really good feelings. Our vibrations are fantastic. I would not mention God. I wouldn't mention Christ. I would just mention love one another. 
That's how I would do it if I were Satan. That's how I would tear down religion. And to me, that is exactly what we are seeing in many of these feel-good mega churches. We are losing God. Not all of them. But I think that's exactly how they're bringing it down, through the inside. Reading some of these. Oh, Libby. And I do think testimonies like yours are important. I have special needs twins. They were in ICU for three months. I was asked so many times if I wanted to sign away my rights or let them die. My son's now 36. Daughter passed away in 2017. Hopefully she had a very, very good life, though, Libby. And it was a parent. I had heartbreaks for you on that one. But so tickled for you so that you made the decision. Your son is, son is still here. Cheryl. I will not argue that one with you. We need to fear the Lord again. We need a little fear of the Lord in there. And a little respect. WKW, I don't know if I can go back and find it. You may have to repost it. I can only go so far back in the chat. Yeah, I won't be able to go. I've gone as far back as it will let me, and I cannot get to your thing, WKW. So you'll have to do it again. Hello, Chris. Yeah, I'm guys, I'm I'm fascinated. I I love finding out how you think on it. It's a it's a very tough one. I think the Supreme Court made the right decision. Uh well, I know the Supreme Court made the right decision, and it wasn't about abortion, it was a very simple, simple constitutional law question. Our Constitution says, unless it's expressly written in the Constitution, the federal government has the power, then they don't, and it goes to the states. Very simple. It wasn't them passing any moral judgment on abortion or not. It was them making a very simple, easy, legal, constitutional law decision. It is not expressly in the Constitution, so therefore it falls to the states. Nar, dude, I was an altar boy. The ceremonies were very moving for me. Really enjoyed masses. Never got chased by a priest. Thank, thank God, Denar, dude. I'm just reading some of these guys. Uh, Norma, my daughter's life was in danger. She chose life for the baby. The baby is graduating from college this May. Praise our Lord for my beautiful granddaughter. Norma, I want a happy ending to this. Did your daughter make it as well? And if not, God bless her sacrifice, and only a mother can understand that. Spectre, they've been really messing with Whisper. Spectre, I'm think considering leaving Twitch completely. <clears throat> Some of the new Twitch policies, they've started to enact them, started to back off. All right, let's keep going. We got a couple more things that I'd really like to touch on today, and it's already the hour mark. Terrorist caught illegally crossing the border says he was here to make a bomb. Federal court documents show 22-year-old Basel, Basil Basel Abadi had plans to make a bomb in the United States, and he was trained to kill non-Muslims, grew up in Lebanon. They caught him coming across the border about five miles from a proper border location checkpoint, trying to sneak in, shaking him down in righteous indignation. I was here to kill you. Uh, it reminds me of that puppet, puppet that uh, Dunham. Uh, I kill you uh, when he did the puppet thing. But uh, this guy really did supposedly pop off in uh, almost religious zeal about how he was here to kill non-Muslims. And he had already been trained, had trained for some months. Actually, I think it was a couple of years. I'm trying to remember in here, it, it talks about it. 
uh, it gets into the Hezbollah, whatever. But somewhere in the article, it also also talks about how long he trained with Hezbollah or Hezbollah, a branch of Hezbollah, um, to uh, make bombs, and he was here to kill Americans and Christians. That's one. Uh, that's one. Then they also talk about another suspected terrorist that lived within the U.S. for quite a while before they caught suspected terrorists. Uh, Early this week, the New York Post reported obtained internal documents from the agency showing a Hezbollah member had been nabbed at the border in El Paso. Okay, that's that one. Here's there's another one in here too, um, where they had another one living. I think they ended up catching him in New York. Anyways, it talks about it. Uh, in there, and you guys are welcome to read it. I want to go fairly quickly on these last few. Some kind of weird alarm going off. They caught this one. He vehemently said he was here to bomb Americans because he was very proud of that and had trained for that for quite some time. You think any of them might gotten by? Let's just say because he was five miles from a checkpoint and nearly got away that perhaps some of these that weren't caught could have been. Maybe he had some friends coming with him. If that doesn't scare you, then, and I don't want you just to run around scared all the time. I don't really, I'm not a fear-mongering kind of person because I think our best days are ahead. But does it concern you? It should absolutely concern you. We caught this one. We had another one that was roaming for years before it caught. How many, how many bombs did it plant? How many poisons maybe been planted? How many, how much damage could have been done to infrastructure or possibly is? And you're just waiting for it to pop up. It's a scary thought as we watch what is going on at the border. And the complete lack of concern by many. Federal agency issues warning about drinking water. Here we go on to the same topic. What is that award? There, well. They didn't particularly mention poisoning or anything. They mentioned cyber attacks against water and sewer because they are not considered very high security, but they could be. You could cause the sewage to back up into the fresh water, et cetera, through cyber attacks. It mentions one in Western Pennsylvania that was hacked. Fortunately, the hackers simply said, you've been hacked and didn't turn anything on or turn anything off. Uh, But the lack of security was scary. If you guys remember, what, three years ago? Was it three years ago? The Colonial Pipeline uh, on the eastern U.S. It nearly shut us down for a week. Uh, And it was probably two to three weeks before gas prices returned. Um, People could get enough gas to function to get to work. I mean, it literally, it paralyzed uh, North Carolina, Virginia, many areas of the East Coast. And that was a cyber attack. And that was relatively small cyber attack. Exactly. Stay alert. Don't live in fear. So just be prepared. Now, Tahoe, we have well water. What happens if there's no power? Do you have a way to get the well water out of the out of the well? Uh, reading some of these. Mike aren't exactly. That's a great example. Paul Harvey, if I were the devil. All right, just one more and we're going to call it a wrap. There's been no increase. Scientists debunk climate change claims about hurricanes. This is what I've been saying forever. They keep telling us, oh, we're having more and more. I was like, all right, the record simply doesn't support that we are having more and more hurricanes or more and more intense. They're certainly getting more press, and just because a reporter tells you they're more intense doesn't mean they are. You should do a little research. I thought this was a good article on just that subject. We need to go in with our eyes completely open and critical thinking before we mass panic. A birthday wishes for Booger and others with some kind of illness all get better. Michael, amen. Happy birthday. Let's sing happy birthday and get out of here. Ooh, I did forget something that I meant to talk about last night. Uh, heavy military copter traffic. Let me see if I can find this one. Uh, Brian had checked in near uh, Camp Mabry in Fort Hood, a tremendous amount of military aircraft and helicopters in the air. I also had friends checking in from Nashville with a number of pictures of military 
uh, helicopters. And I got reports out of California as well. We've seen a lot of very unusual military air traffic. Don't know if it means anything, but watch it. And uh, now I'm going to sing and we're going to call it a day. It's going to take a little sip of a uh, hot coffee to get my voice ready. If that even works. So they tell me it's your birthday. Well, happy birthday, darling. May you live, may you love. May all your dreams come true. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. To all those celebrating, Steve, 62 today. Happy birthday to Kathy's husband. All right, guys, back at seven tonight.